well what you saw was a drum being played without an actual drum kit with the use of motion and i have with me raj is actually going to give me a little more details of what we saw so you have a lot of motion control demos out here can you quickly run us through what all this is about sure what we did is we created algorithms that can actually detect your hand motion in a relative 3d space and we associate it with an action okay. so here there is no camera there is no ir we actually understand relative motion our engineers have spent around one and a half year building algorithms that can nicely understand what you are doing with hands and you know detect while this is geeky and all good let's talk about simple applications on how you would use this technology right? okay this is a hug smart watch that's right now available on amazon now what i'm doing is i'm turning on my gestures over here and then the gesture is ready now what i do is i pull out my phone just to show the gestures now in gestures there are different different apps that i can select now i want to control my music player so what i do is i just say my music now the music player is being controlled all i have to do is just push my hand for it to just like you know launch the music now i don't hear the voice let me increase the volume okay there you go so it's that simple if i have to just change a song all i have to do is just wave my hand towards the right and it can do next song so it's that simple so gestures are made simple now the beauty of it is if let's say i do wave right wave left up and down this is the most simplest gesture even that also because it's a new technology we wanted to make it with contextual intelligence now the same gesture if i pair it with a smart light i do this it can change the color of the light i do the same gesture it can decrease the brightness okay. so it's like that now why drone so drones are like you know becoming you know a popular use case for everybody today this drone like this is from parrot it's a parrot mini drone if i buy dro this drone in the market today i get a mobile app to actually see how i can control it yeah. now do i look at my eyes or do i look at my phone i would rather look at my eyes to the drone versus looking into my phone so we change the complete usability and interaction experience where you fly this drone and then you are using your hands to actually control the drone as opposed to looking at your phone okay. so that's the difference in you know how we are doing it okay. and virtual reality virtual reality is becoming mainstream in several applications are building on augmented reality and vr but the biggest problem in vr today is once you wear the vr glasses you are given some controllers that you have to hold on to and you have buttons yeah. we change the whole experience okay. and we say that in virtual reality yeah. once you wear them i'll give you a small shooting experience of zombies yeah. now you wear the glasses you don't need anything to hold on to use your hand as a control and then just do this you are able to shoot so it's a 100% touchless interaction just enhances the user experience so what we intend to do is today i show you a drone i show 